Hey guys, Jamie with PC Monkey, uh, bringing you a key repair video today. We're working on a Toshiba Satellite Click 10. Uh, we have the palm rest right here. We took it off so you could see the underside of this. Um, there's a reason why we're going to be replacing a key and not the entire keyboard. When you look inside the computer here, uh, this is a French inset keyboard. If you'll notice, there's no screws on this, so you can't unscrew your keyboard, take it out, put a new one in and screw it back. It's held on by all these plastic rivets. So the way to get this off of your palm rest is to peel it off, rip it off, break all the rivets, and then when you get a new keyboard on here, there's no real way to secure it in there unless you want to tape it down, which is not ideal. So that's why in situations like this, with computers like this, you would be replacing a key rather than the whole keyboard. So if you can find a loose key on eBay or Amazon for sale, great. Sometimes you'll have to buy a whole used keyboard and then take a key off of it and then put it on yours. Um, so we're going to show you how to take one off and then how to put it on. Uh, if We're going to be doing the normal letter keys, the normal size ones in this video. If you're looking for an enter key or a space key, there'll be a link in the bottom um, on how to do those. Uh, those look a little different, so we did a separate video. But what you want is a small flathead screwdriver. Smaller the better. Um, we're going to try to get the screwdriver underneath your keycap, which is the top part, but on top of the retainer clip underneath that, that you can't see. So it's kind of tricky, but you go slow. Uh, here, I'll zoom in for you a little bit. You can see what I'm doing. We're going to be looking at the, the J key. So I'm going to get it underneath the cap, over the retainer. The cap comes off pretty easily. And if you look, I'll zoom in more, uh, the screwdriver is holding down that retainer clip. Um, so that's what we wanted. That's really flimsy plastic. If you were to just rip this and pull it off, that would bend and break. So this is how most keys look underneath. Uh, there'll be small differences, but they'll all kind of look like this. There'll be a little rubber bouncy thing in the middle. Don't ruin that. <laughs> um, that's only held on by glue. If that peels up, it, it's a real pain to get that back down. Um, then you've got this plastic retainer clip that's made up of two parts fitted into each other. And it will generally be held down the same way. There'll be two metal pins toward the top two corners, two metal pins or one, um, in our case two. Uh, toward the bottom. <clears throat> so to get this out safely, if you're salvaging this from another keyboard, I'm going to take my thumbnail, push up on that retainer clip. It's really tight, but I'm going to try to get as much as I can. I'm, I'm going to push up and slowly pry out from under these top me metal pins um, the retainer clip. Uh, so this is where you're going to break it if you do. So go slow and then I'll, I'll show you the retainer clip once we get it out, once you have a, have a better look at it. All right, so there's the clip. I'll zoom into it for you so you can see it a little better. So this is where the metal pins were on the bottom. And to flip it around for you, this is where they were on the top. There's two very super ultra thin pieces of plastic um, that, that are sliding under this metal. So it's very easy to break it in the step we just did. If you don't pry that out from under the, the metal, it'll just snap right through. So that's the spot where you're going to break it. Uh, now to put this back in, we're going to go in reverse. Instead of taking the top off first, we're going to put the bottom down first. So get it in there, get it set in nice and uh, so the bottom two are where they should be. So it's snug under there. And then once you get it centered, so the bottom are in, just snap the top two uh, back. Oop, all in one. So that may take a few tries. Um, I, I do it a lot, so it's a little easier for me, but that may take a few tries to line it up. Again, be careful not to break it, but if it's lined up correctly, it shouldn't be a problem. And then you put the cap back on and, and just press. So that's how you would uh, salvage a key off of a keyboard. That's how you would install it afterward and uh, hopefully without breaking it. Uh, please like and share if this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. We try to get back to you with uh, twice a day. And again, if you're looking for the larger keys, uh, check out the link in the description. It, it, it'll be there. Uh, if you enjoy computer repair, uh, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.